Hey guys, Red here, bringing you another Destiny 2 video. Now this video, again, just to be aware, is another Destiny 2 leak video, and it is from a big source, a known, a well-known source, Liz, that really points out a lot of things in the Destiny 2 community while well, leaks a lot of those things, and it they down pretty much happen. So just to be aware, if you don't want to get anything spoiled, then click out of this video. But before we get into the video, I just want to remind you all that I will be doing another Lightfall Plus Annual Pass giveaway. We did one this month, of course, we I think we started back at the end of August, but we did it for this month. It happened last week. Really awesome stream. Had a lot of people come out to the channel, and it was awesome to see everybody's face. And we had a, a really awesome blast, you know, talking and, you know, picking that awesome Lightfall winner. Now, we are going to do another Lightfall Pass, Lightfall giveaway, sorry, Lightfall giveaway. And this will happen on October 29th, which is the last Saturday of October, but we're starting it now. So if you want to know how to enter into this giveaway, please click the description down below there's a link for it and all the four steps that you have to do which is liking the post subscribing to the channel tell me your thoughts and seasonal plunder in my discord server be sure to join up in the discord if you haven't already because that's where we're gonna like put all the entries in and of course pick the winner from there on stream on october 29th but let's get right into the meat of this video according to the destiny 2 leaks discord server Liz pointed out that someone will die next season. Now we don't know who, there was not a lot of evidence on if it's a major character or a minor character. I put in the title a major character because if any character would die from right now it has to be a character that we really know of or have been knowing up to the release of Lightfall at least and that would of course affect the story arc or anything like that. I got a couple theories on who could die but again we don't know, we only can speculate as probably someone will die next season but we don't know who so I'm gonna start off with some things in season 18 that could go into the aftermath of season 19 that which we could speculate on who's gonna die from that little theory but also just the theory of what would happen in season 19 and just my personal thoughts on it so let's get right into it so one of the big characters that we've seen for a while is Mithrax now we saw him revealed in season of Splicer and of course he came back for this season and I already know people are like no don't kill him off he's gonna be a big character in the final shape and I could definitely see that happening however let me let you know about this little theory. As we just known that Mithrax's like little past, dark past cutscene of him getting the relics from Nezarak and being, you know, having a really dark past similar to how Saint 14 had a dark past with the Fallen, we could see this have like an eye for an eye like foreshadowing type story where okay the effects what happened his actions back in his past could lead to his downfall or lead to something, you know, that he has to sacrifice himself or something. You know, a lot of people don't want Ido to die at the end of this season because she's actually a really good character. <laughs> a lot of people have told me that. And she they don't want him her to die. But I could see something like Mithrax facing Aramis. As we know, a fight will happen probably around the ending to epilogue of season 18. And then, moreover, we also could see something happening in the you know, epilogue of season 19, the entry of it, where we could see, like, Aramis and Mithrax face off in a battle, and then the end, then the beginning of season 19, Mithrax dies from Aramis's, you know, attack from, dies from his wounds or something. We could see it some type of way that way, but again, time will tell with that type of stuff. It's a little theory, or we could see Ido die. I don't think Aramis will die, as she was just brought back, and I don't think people want her, people want characters to be brought back only to die, because we really sorry Amir's back and be all night and then after that we didn't see her for two years so having her die is probably a thing that people want to not see and I don't think Bungie really wants to point that out for good storytelling unless it's like she kills someone else and then we Mithrax and us go and help and kill that kill Aramis but again little theories in there you know you know consequences from a dark past you know if that gets out to the last city if that gets out to you know other people we really could see some type of foreshadowing of a dark future ahead for Mithrax but a lot of people want to see him and Mithra and Aramis face off in the final shape expansion or at least sometime maybe around Lightfall but time will tell 
some little other things in there. Now, we did a video a while back, I hope you remember me making videos a while back, of me making a video on a Season 19 leak, which would include Rasputin being a major plot point in Season 19. As we know in Season 19, it's coming next season, <laughs> we are going to point out that Anna and Elsie Bray would return. Now, could we see one of those characters, or even Rasputin himself, die in that type of ending of Season 19, or middle or beginning of the epilogue of Season 19? Of course. However, you know, Rasputin being brought back, you know, we've known him to be uh, awesome, you know, AI in the War Minix uh, uh, <laughs> DLC, and then he came into the Worthy DLC when we needed him to face off the Almighty, then he was shut down for a while from the Pyramid Ship, and then he was placed into an Angram, I believe, with from Anna Bray's help, and then it's really been, you know, little hints there and there what's going to happen, and I believe Rasputin coming back next season is highly going to happen, highly likely to happen, and then him being put into an exo body would also happen as well. And I could see that happen as well as Anna and Elsie Bray, you know, what happens if they, if the plot point of Season 19 has to do with the Polka or something around there, as we know the Polka will, retur will, will return in Lightfall, maybe one of those characters would die. I could definitely see that happening. However, again, a lot of people, you know, like the Exo Stranger, of course, and a lot of people just like don't want these two characters to die because there's been a lot of story narrative build up for them and it's really hard to figure out which one would die however a lot of people would say Cade wouldn't ever die you know die ever and then things came out leaks came out and curse was Cyrus of Warmind saying he would soon and then boom he did so could we see a major character however you know die from all of this absolutely now who's a major character that we really haven't seen or haven't seen in the Lightfall, you know, gameplay. It's really hard to sell, say in the trailers and the gameplay because we really haven't seen, you know, a lot of gameplay. Because if we point out the trailers of the characters in the Lightfall DLC, then it will really point out, oh wait, he's gone, he's not there, so there you go. We know that Osiris will return for the Lightfall DLC, shown in the wallpaper of the Lightfall expansion. And we know that, of course, other characters will take a part to play in that DLC like the Witness and Callus. Of course, the new, the new Cloud Striders faction will also take a part to play, and the Tormentors and us using Strand. So those are the only characters we see on the webpage of the DLC. We don't really see Ikora, however, or Zavala. Now, those two could have their little, you know, possibilities. Now, Zavala, I could see, but not too much as I see Ikora. Now I know Ikora played a big role in the Witch Queen DLC and I already know I feel like if they were gonna do another character death type you know thing that they might do it you know in secrecy. You know a lot of people didn't want Kate to die and if people saw Kate dying without any like advertising and Forsaken I feel like it would hit a bit more deeper because then you would be like all the expansions you would have an unknown you know consequence or event that would happen and you would be like wait did he just die you know so i would love if a character died any time before then and we would not know about it and it looks like that might be the case so who else could die in that type of you know dlc getting ready up for the dlc i could see akora you know she is likely i don't really see any other big you know vanguard type leader you know zavala possibly but again we really don't know of who would die out of the vanguard type you know <laughs> reality um so other people you know we could see of course you know hawthorne or any of those characters maybe the drifter but again like it's really hard to tell because you can't really make any like possibilities on that because what about gambit what about gambit vendor you know like it's hard because you won't really have like oh then he's definitely gonna die you know like you you can't really tell because because who's gonna be the next gambit vendor who's gonna be the next you know what i mean um another pro po pro possibility is lord saladin dying of course we have seen him back in risen we haven't really seen him a lot in you know haunted he had some dialogue but we haven't really seen him a lot and could you see some type of reality where he protects Kaido from the witness or something next season or type of an event and then he dies again we don't know for sure but possibly I don't think Kaido will die but that is also a possibility you could see but I feel like 
it's hard to say with these ally factions as it would be really like oh you get rid of the leader who's going to replace the leader we don't know anything about him and then you have to repair that whole faction and tower guardian relationship over again and i don't think bungie wants to go in that route in terms of the story narrative because we've already went down it you know what i mean however time will tell i feel like though if a faction different faction race or whatever type a leader would die it would be mithrax's ida would take over or whatever and then that or the spider and then we've already had like a relationship build up with that so it'll be easier to keep that re if, you know relationship between the guardians and the fallen but again time will tell there now any other character deaths it's really hard to tell because there's a lot of characters that have died already like savathun and she might come back heavily and osiris you know he was in a coma and then eventually he's probably going to come back already seen in the promo art for lightfall so having a character die you could possibly see them return eventually later on because there's different ways of how bungie to do it you know bungie if you get rid of their ghost they could come back eventually without a ghost and or a darkness version of them you know it's really hard to tell because again who knows really what's going to go on with the ending of season 18 the aftermath of season 18 will probably hit a little bit towards a character death next season or if Bungie's holding it for like the very e last week before lightfall releases or before anything like that could we couldn't see it we won't be able to you know be able to really actually see it until the ending of season 19 in february but if they're hinting it at the end of season 18 season 19 or the epilogue of season 19 around the beginning of them you could see a character die, you know, right off the bat, and we could do a little more videos on speculating on that fact, but a character will die soon, guys, in the Destiny 2 universe, depending on which one. That's still an unknown, poss unknown, but we'll, we'll eventually find out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then please subscribe and like. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.